Hey everybody, Paul here from We Grow Hydra. Today we're going to show you the proper way to calibrate your Blue Lab Guardian meter. First thing you want to do is make sure your probes are clean before calibration. Starting with the nutrient probe, you want to remove the protective guard. We have some Blue Lab uh, nutrient probe cleaner here. Mixed with some water to get our cleaning solution. You're going to want to scrub off any uh, nutrient reservoir residue that can be on there. Clean it off. And then Blue Labs kit comes with a special scrubber that you can use for the points here. And you want to scrub until you start seeing this gray film coming off so that you know it's fresh carbon and it's all nice and clean. Go ahead and give it a good rinse in water. Put the shroud back on and you can go ahead and this is your temperature compensation so you want to have it in a liquid that's been out in the same temperature as your pH calibration. Always use fresh solution. And cleaning our pH probe here we have the Blue Lab pH probe cleaner. Again mixed with some water. Toothbrush. Go ahead and twist it around. Scrub in there, it's want to be nice and clean. Rinse in some water. So we're going to go ahead and put it in the 7.0 first. Once it settles on a reading, go ahead and hold down the pH cal button. Until it says pH cal, it locks on to 7 for you. Take it out. Rinse in water. Go ahead and put it in the 4.0. Again, let it settle on reading. And then you're going to go ahead and hold the pH cow button down again. And it's going to lock on to 4 for you. And you can see for reference, 2.7 on your nutrient meter is correct with the 2.77 uh, nutrient solution. As always, if you have any questions or problems, feel free to come in or, or call us. And lastly, before you do put it away, uh, your pH probe, never let it dry. You want to save the cap and you want to use their uh, Blue Lab KCL storage solution uh, to keep it moist. And that's it.